Hello everyone, what's up? Kevin Marcia here and this episode of Photo Edit Breakdown, we learn how to go from this to this. Let's go! Alright, so this is the photo we're going to start with. So this is the raw file. Um, the first thing I always do when I, when I reach out for, for, for Instagram is I go down to the crop tool, so that's R. You press R, um, and I crop for Instagram. So in Lightroom, you just choose you just choose the four by five, and that crops for Instagram. Um, so what I want to do is I want to place the third line on the horizon, so that looks the best. Alright, so this is the photo we're going to start with. Um, you can see that this part of the image, the sky, is really blown out. So I'm just going to drop the highlights so that we can recover some details in the sky. Um, and the shadows they look fine like it's basically all highlights and you can see in the Instagram it's to the right so that means this all the information is on the highlights. Um, so I want to pull down the blacks a bit so that will help um, add some contrast in the image. The next panel is the tone curve. The tone curve is the most important tool in my opinion so this is the, the one where you can um, really really change your image. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I I always do that. So I create points. So one for the for the, the shadows, one for the midtones, and one for the highlights. And then by dragging these points, I'm going to alter and change part of the images. So this point right there is the shadow. So if I lift it up, you can see here on the image is the darkest part here, a bit here. And if I lift it up. I crush the black, see? And that's how it creates this really faded look. So if you see before, that's that's before, so you see, and then after we really faded in with the mood. Um I'll just drop it this a bit. Yeah, to amplify the mood, see before and after. Um this in the middle is a mid-tones, so I'm just playing around with it, seeing what it does, and just yeah, turn it down a bit. Um, for the highlights, same thing. So that's basically the same thing we did when we pulled the highlights down because the sky was blown out, so we wanted to recover the detail. And on the tone curve, it's the same thing. You can control the highlights with this. So if I pull it down, you see how it crushes the highlights, and we recover the detail, but way too much. So I don't know, I think I want this a bit like white and super bright and so that's before the tone curve, you know, a bit flat, a image flat and after the tone curve and already we got a nice detail, a nice contrast. Alright, so next panel is the HSR for you hue saturation and luminance. So what I want to do is, I think there's a lot of orange in this image and I can try, yeah. So you can see the orange is mainly here on the rocks where the light hits the rock. So I think it's too orange for my taste. I want to create a really moody and, and faded look. So I'm going to pull down the orange a bit so that it's not too much. So you can see that's before with all the orange and after the rocks coming through. Um, for the yellow, so basically the yellow is actually what you see as green on the screen. You see the grass, it's controlled by the yellow slider. I don't want to change it too much, I'll just put it down a bit. But yeah, minus 5, minus 6. Um, the next color is blue. You see the blue controls, you can see the up here in the sky, it's a bit blue. There's a bit of blue left. And I don't want this, I want a nice... Um, bright yellow sky so I'm just gonna put the saturation to minus 100 for the blue and you can see it before and after I just killed the blue um, and the last thing I'm going to do in the saturation panel is um, change the aqua so aqua you can you can see by putting up and down what it controls so it controls this part of the sea see here and here it's aqua so if I put it down I lose the color, if I put it up I win some. So I think I'm going to add a bit. Uh, yeah, to make it pop. 
and about that area it's starting to pop and it's really cool alright so down to the luminance so as I said it controls how bright colors are um, so the main color in the spectra is yellow uh, that's all the grass um, yeah so before changing that I think I'm, I'm I want to go back to the basic panel and I think the image as it as a whole is way too dark um, way too bright sorry so I, I want to darken to darken it and to darken an image in its globality you just change the, the exposure slider so I'm just going to pull it down and make it really really moody um, yeah about here and then now we get a, a nice look and we're going to pull back the the light only in on the greens so coming back to the HSM panel and the luminance we're going to add some light some light on the yellows so on the grass and putting it up yep that's some light light um, for the greens that's there's a bit of green that's basically the darkest part of the grass we're going to put, put down the, the, the green a bit and for the blue the same thing um, so we want to um, we really we want to accentuate the difference between this part which is the sun super bright and the other part which is the sky and we want to create a difference between the two so by putting down you see the blue the sky gets darker on the outer edge so not, not too much, just a little bit, yeah, about minus 30. <clears throat> oh, that's, that looks about nice. Um, I just want to change, so as we said, the aqua is the color that's here in the sea. But it doesn't really match with the rest of the picture. So I'm going to change the color of the aqua. So if I pull it here. There you go, you can see it goes from really really blue to more like green. So yeah, I want, I want this. Alright, and we're done with the HSS uh, panel. So you can see the before and after, so that's before. You know, really bright, um, really all the colors, nothing really to focus your attention on. And after, you can see we really made um, the, the, the yellow, I mean the grass really pop and you can see you're focusing your attention on the grass, so that's the, the main focus of the image. Um, so now I, th I still think the image is a bit um, too dark, so we're going to change that by going back on the tone curve. Um, see maybe this is the part of the highlight, we're going to pull it up a bit, yeah, add some highlights. And add some mid tones. There we go. So we li we're lifting the image a bit, and it's it looks way better. Um, not too much. There yeah, about here. So before the tone curve, after. All right. So it still looks a bit too dark. So maybe we'll use the whites. Um, add some. Or we'll definitely lose a bit of blacks. Since we're a bit too much, and then add some whites. To make pop, to make it pop yeah there we go there we go and now uh, the last thing I use is the camera the, the camera calibration so what it does is you change the primary colors so the red and green and blue so you can see here if I mess around with the green primary see what it does it changes the whole greens in the image All right so what we want to do for this picture is I still think there's a bit too much of green here in the foreground on the grass, so I want to uh, uh, pull down the saturation a bit. See, not too much, but um, about minus 50 to really make it um, this faded look. So just before and after, it really faded. All right, so now we're done with the global adjustments, and now uh, we I I am. So basically what I do is I use the, all the global adjustments based on what I, I, I need to use and then I'm using the local adjustments so that basically the graduated filter, the radio filter and the brush. So on, on this one I want to really darken the sky. Alright, so I'm going to use the graduated filter, so that's M. 
Um, I want to visit the effects, so double click on effects so that resets the settings. And since I want to darken it, I'll just drop the exposure. So I'm just saying like yeah, minus one just to, to start with. There we go. And then I'm going to drag like what it filter across the screen. Um, just like this. It's a bit too bright to still for my test, so I'm just going to drop down the exposure a bit more. Um, I think I'm satisfied with it. And there we go. Now it's really, really dark. So you, basically what you want to achieve when you edit a photo is decide what you want your viewer, your, the person that views the photo to look at. And in this, in, in this instance, I want the person to look at this, the, the grass, and then the silhouette. So if you want to see, so that's, that's the, the almost finished photo. We still need to add the rainbow. But if you can see what we started with, that's the photo we started with, right? So that's way too much sky, way too bright. When you look at the photo, you don't really know where to look. Um, your eyes just wander around the picture. And then that's where we are now. There we go, really moody, really contrasty. And then you really look at some part of the picture and it tells the story, right? It's the foreground and you look at it and the foreground, the world goes over the sea and then you see the person jumping. So that's that's nice. Um, so we're done with the um, with the colors. I just made the Lightroom, and now for the final part, we want to add the rainbow, right? So to do that, we're going to go into Photoshop. So just right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so we're here in Adobe Photoshop. So that's that's the picture, and the background is the photo. So <clears throat> on this one, we only want to do one thing: is add the rainbow, right? So how are we going to do that? We're going to add a new layer by pressing Shift, Common, N. So that's new layer. Yes, okay. And on this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the gradient filter, the gradient tool. So you go there and you press on the option and then you click on special effects and you say append so it will add the, the the special effect gradient to the one we already have, so append, and then you see this one, right? So it's it's the rainbow colors. I'll click on this one. I'll click on this one. We're going to use the radial gradient. You want to drag a line from the bottom of the picture to to the top, and that will create the rainbow. So you hold and create a line, and there we go. So you see that that creates the rainbow. So what we're going to do is, no, first you want to press Command-T or Control-T on PC that uh, allows you to move the rainbow. So we want to move the rainbow about where we want it to be. Right? Hit Enter. And now we want to hide to hide um, the rainbow from everywhere else but here. Um, first press Screen. See, that's, that really makes the, the rainbow more natural and, and faded. Now you're going to create, go down here and create, click on the layer, click, hit create layer mask, right? So now we're going to choose where we want the effect not to apply. So it B for brush. Here make sure the black is selected, so to reset the brush you can hit X and D. And then brush over the parts where you don't want the rainbow to apply. Make sure your opacity and flow are at 100 and then just brush over the image to delete, delete the effect, right? There we go. Did it here too. Cool. So there's this part we missed, so we're just going to zoom in. It's command plus to zoom. And then make the brush smaller, just erase the rainbow from here. Erase the rainbow from here too. There we go. Alright, so now we have a rainbow. Um, but it's, you see it's way unnatural, right? So what we want to do is click back on the layer and we're going to decrease the opacity so if you go to zero you can see the, the rainbow and 100 it's really 
um, you can really see it. So we're just going to decrease it a bit. And yeah, about here to make it look more natural, right? There we go, more faded, maybe 35. All right, it's way more faded. And now to finish up, uh, we're just gonna press close and hit save. So it's gonna do, it's going to save the image the image back in Lightroom, and then send us back to Lightroom. Right? So that's the the final image. And yeah, there we go. Now you know how to do it. So like this video if you've learned anything, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Photo Edit Breakdown. Peace.